In this video, I'll show you how to create an AI assistant that generates replies to customer emails using your data. So let's start by explaining the business problem we're solving. We are Bloom and Brew, a sandwich and juice shop that offers catering. To generate quotes, we use a spreadsheet with our menu of sandwiches and juices. The number of menu options and the discount levels vary based on the number of mouths to feed. For example, a typical customer email like this one might say, hey, we're having a work happy hour on Thursday for about 35 people. Please send over a suggestion. Traditionally, we would input the number of people into the spreadsheet, which then determines how many types of sandwiches and juices are needed. Using that information, we then select the most popular items to fill the order. After that, we'd manually write a response email listing the selections, ingredients, quantities, and pricing. It's simple, but a bit tedious. With advancements in AI, specifically language models like ChatGPT, we can now streamline this process. We've created this custom GPT assistant, and it's connected to our spreadsheet via the Grid API. So let's copy and paste this email into the assistant. It starts communicating with the spreadsheet to gather the necessary data. And now for the magical part. As you can see, it has created a catering price code with the correct types and number of sandwiches and juices. And here near the bottom, it has added information about pricing and the discounts that have been applied. Because we already entered the same inputs into the spreadsheet here on the left, we can easily verify that the generated quote is correct. When the assistant calls the Grid API to use the spreadsheet, the original one is not affected. Instead, it uses a copy. To demonstrate that, let's imagine Astley replies and says it's now for 50 people. Again, the assistant starts querying the Grid API, and it should come back with a larger selection of sandwiches and juices. And it does. We can see that now, because it's 50 people, it suggests five different types of sandwiches. Then it goes for six types of juices, as defined in the table over here, and the discount is updated as well from 20 to 25%. Now we can take this generated email price quote and use it to reply to Ashley. Setting this up is simpler than one might think, so let's show you under the hood by clicking to edit the assistant. Down here at the bottom of the page, you can see we have defined an action to access the Grid API. That is populated with information you get once you upload the spreadsheet to the Grid API. In a separate video linked in the description of this one, you can learn step by step how to set this up. But for now, let's just take a look at how we've instructed our assistant to interact with our spreadsheet. Here, we say that it will receive email from customers. It should figure out how many people need catering and to respond with an email price quote. We broke it up into four steps. Input the number of people, read the number of menu types from the designated cells, fill in the quantities accordingly, and finally, calculate and format the price. We also added a note to keep the tone hip, fun, and breezy to match our Bloom & Brew brand voice. What's amazing is that all of this is done using plain language, just like you would use when training a real employee. Below this line are instructions that are automatically generated by the Grid API to explain to your GPT how to interact with the spreadsheet. Again, this is something you're provided with when you go through our GPT setup guide. And that's how you connect a custom chat DPT to your own spreadsheet and build a powerful, time-saving business tool. It brings together your existing data and business logic with the conversational intelligence of GPT to automate repetitive tasks. If you want to learn how to set this up from scratch, check out the link in the description for the step-by-step -step guide. Thank you for watching and feel free to head over to grid.is for more examples and to try this out for yourself.